Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be removing these birds of paradise which you may have seen before. We did help to resurrect them, but now it is time for them to go and get replanted elsewhere because we have big plans for this piece of grass behind me and also this big piece of grass behind me here. So stay tuned and watch the show unfold. We're going to start over here and what we're going to need to do is as you'll see there are some river rocks now these rocks are great for uh, drainage purposes they're great as a base if you want to do some concreting they're also great just as a moisture resistance or even if you want to use them to retain some water but in this situation they are of no use to us Remember to always wear your, wear your protective gear when you're chainsawing. As you can see, I've got my gloves, my headphones, and my boots. And to start the show, I'm gonna start with the smallest one because I think it's gonna be the easiest one. Fingers crossed, I don't know. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of obstacles here. There are some stones, so clearly you don't want to be chainsawing the stones, otherwise you get shrapnel, shrapnel in your eyes. So you wanna make sure that you maintain a safe distance from the floor, and I'm gonna be chainsawing at an angle. So again, make sure you don't chop your leg off. So basically, if you're reckless, this isn't for you. All right, here we go. Just like that, they're gone. So I'm just using a demolition hammer over here, just dig straight into the middle, dislodge it and then pull out as much of the roots as I can. I heard that if you don't pull out all of the roots, they'll just grow back up. So I'm going to try being cerebral about this one. Genuinely look so much wider, bigger. Ah, oh, I can't wait just to mm, get rid of all this and make it nice and pretty again. All right, I'm doing that side next. Let's go. Woo.
we have to dig out. This is just past one. We've got a process. So, yeah. Seems like done really well. Chainsaw, that was fun, except mm -hmm. she's got an Azito and he was just awful. Incompetent. Then you were using the shearing scissors. Yeah. And they were all right, but you couldn't get as low as the chainsaw. No. Manual labor as well. Manual labor. I've been digging out with the demolition hammer. Yeah. That's working really well. Yeah. I still haven't dug all the way down. And we've got a lot of rocks to move. So we're going to collect all the rocks and just broom them away into our big rock pile. Where we're collecting all our rocks. Maybe we'll use it as a base for some sort of a... Maybe Whatever. A, Structure. A carport, anything. Concrete pad, anything like that. That was a... Uh, yeah, how'd you feel? I feel like we achieved something, Ash. I, to be honest with you, today I wasn't expecting to do any of this. And I just said to Ash, hey, look, Ash, let's just sit outside for a bit. And we're like, let's just do this job. And in the one hour that we did, I felt like we achieved quite a lot. It's a great workout it as well. It is a great workout. Yeah, I, feel, I feel really hench. Same. Feels really Not nice. hench, but like, you know, slim. <laughs> hench means muscly, hench, right? Muscly. Okay, I feel yeah. muscly too. Yeah, hench. Yeah. Good job. Well, a lot more work to do, but I'm excited now because you can actually see See the opening, it actually looks like we've got a garden again. It looks like we've got lots of open space on both sides. Maybe I'll put a shed here eventually. I'm excited about this stuff. I've got to say, commend you for your work. Great work. Well done to you too, Ash. Great work. And uh, stay tuned to see what we get up to next. Probably going to put in a carport or something like that. Thanks for watching, guys. It's time to clean up. Getting ready for the uh, tip. It's like a never ending part, <laughs> never ending part of green waste in this house. There's so many, like, where do they even come from? Oh. Feral. <laughs> oh, Stang. Problems 101.